Hi there. I'm Wrench. I'm here to play, hopefully, the end of Pokemon Soul Silver in a hardcore Nuzlocke setting. I instantly have dogs that are being problematic at the start of my stream, so nothing new there. Um, let's let's get some Pokemon. So I have some mons that I am going to bring along with me. These mons are all level 87 at the moment because I don't know if there's going to be any kind of uh, story bullshit where I have to fight someone prior to moving on with life. My hope is that I can just go fight red and be happy, but uh, at the very least, I think I forgot to do a couple of things, so let me check on those things. Party Pokemon. I want to summary. And I want to look at... okay. Okay, I don't know why I put you on HP instead of speed, and you have not gotten anything. So, really quickly, I need to check a couple of things. I had done a lot of the prep work, but some of the stuff just did not happen. Let's look for Kabutops. Okay, so if Kabutops is 252, we're fine. So I just need to boost speed and attack on Kabutops, and then I don't have to worry as much. Um, so how do I do... I want to say it's that and that. So I have to go into this, into this, Say that's speed should be there. Special attack, special defense would be there. I think then it's defense, attack, hit points. So I think this is correct. And then I go in here and I mark you. And then I go into my party Pokemon. Summary. And I pressed the wrong button. Attack and speed. Perfect. Okay. So, what am I doing today? So, the last challenge of the game should be fighting red. And despite me playing this run blind, from other media, I happen to know, well, I think I know what red's team is. And that is the three starters from the original game Venusaur, Blastoise, and Charizard. Uh, Pikachu, because Red has a Pikachu, a Lapras, and I believe an Eevee. And I don't know if it's an Eevee Lucian or just a regular unevolved Eevee. I think it's the latter. I'm not 100% sure. So uh, my plan is to have something relatively fast that can throw out a Stealth Rock. That thing probably dies. And then uh, Kadabra can kill two of the things, Lantern can kill four of the things, and the other thing is an Eevee that I don't know that I can one-shot, but I don't think is a major problem. Anyway, so uh, Firo is not part of the planned team. Firo is here to fly us around to the various locations that we need to be. Um, Kabutops is here because it can know um, Stealth Rock, and it can also learn a ton of HMs. So in the event that Red is in some stupid cave that I have to waterfall and whirlpool and strength my way into, I can have most of that on one Pokemon and not have to cost myself team power 
uh, for having HMs. So right now I am going to Professor Oak. As I am told, that is where I need to go. Oh, I already have a rappel on. How nice. Of course. No, I do not want the grip claw, thank you. And so the other Pokemon are there, uh, Nidoking, because it does a good job of coverage, so no matter what I end up having to fight, Nidoking has a chance to face it. Uh, Togetic, because uh, flying and rock help cover the Venusaur and the Charizard, which are some of my bigger concerns. And then the sixth Pokemon I will explain later. It is not Fero. You're not Professor Oak. I need to go to Professor Oak. Give me just a moment. She's being a good girl, but she is squeaking a toy, so I'm sorry that will have to be a thing on the stream for a little while while my dog is being happy. I don't want to take away her happiness. So there will be some squeaking. You guys are killing Pokemon, she's killing squeaky. I am hopefully killing Pokemon. And they're hopefully not mine. Well, the plan is in fact actually to kill at least two of my Pokemon. Because I need switches on red, because red still has a pretty strong team. But I'm reasonably certain I can take red. I need to go to Pallet Town. I'm going to go challenge Professor Oak to a Pokemon battle. I mean, have him tell me where the next part of the story is. Hello. What? Okay. Great. I thought I needed to come to Professor Oak. Ugh. Okay. So where the fuck is red? If I had to guess, I would guess Mount Silver. best guess for where he might appear. I am really reluctant to run, like, I'm hoping that I don't just run into him and into his eye line and he's like, aha, we're gonna battle, because I don't have my sixth Pokemon and I'm not at his level yet, because I don't know I don't know what I'm doing. Like that's the problem. Is if there's story in my way or if there's battles that I have to have. Like I know I need various tools in here. Uh, I 
don't think I have So I can rock climb with two things. What does Mina do? Mina has Ice Beam, Earth Power, Thunderbolt, and Megahorn. I don't really need Megahorn. Mischance is a little more than I'd like to deal with. Earth Power is good enough for the Pikachu. Do I really want to go around at random here? I guess if it's not here, I can always hard scale back whatever I lose. Alright, so now we can rock climb with Kabutops. here for Moltres, I'm not here for catching Pokemon, I'm just here to beat the shit out of Red and claim my title as best Pokemon trainer in all of SoulSilver. Okay, so this is not helpful. before I find anything meaningful. Damn it. So you can't go up this way. That cave entrance means nothing. So I guess we try this one? This is where I came from. This is like an exit cave. That's why I'm thinking this is backwards. So how do I get... where Moltres was, isn't it? Let us give you the smoke ball, Flarelin, and put you at the start of the party. That looks like someone. Could that be red? No, that's a Pokeball. over there. What's up here? I don't think I've been here. This does not strike me as familiar. Why is it winter all of a sudden? Okay, so this is just side cave. 
course there's an item in there. Uh, I'll deal with Rock Smash if I have to, I don't really care. Great. Fine, great, good. There's a rock climb over there that I can take. And one over here that I can take. <sighs> if this goes on for too long, I'll look it up, but... What the shit? Making me puzzle my way to a thing that I don't even know exists. And then I'm going to have to puzzle my way back once I find out if this is it, because... See, this feels like a final boss. I am worried if I go in that door that I am going to have to fight Red. I'll be really annoyed if I have to fight Red with this team. It's like a platform. Yep, there he is. Fucking yeah. Alright. Perfect. You can fucking stay there, and I will fucking come back with my full team. I don't have to do any story shit, hopefully. I can just challenge your ass. Alright. So, let's do this. Let's get ourselves... <sighs> my final team member. Flying right now is because I want to get whatever that is. Alright, so the plan Stealth Rock on Kabutops. Kabutops leads off with it. That means that my lantern with choice specs can obliterate four of the Pokemon that come in without needing any kind of second attack, and it should outspeed all of them. I don't know if it outspeeds the Charizard. I'm not 100% sure on that one. I should look at that before I do anything. Um, I need to go somewhere where there is a box. This is fine. I went to Victory Road instead of to where the Elite Four live. I don't actually think there's a box in here. Is there? No. Well, that was dumb. Well, shit, how am I gonna... I'm gonna have to walk to... That's fine, I'm... I'll... F <sighs> Wait, there's a Poké Center... right at the base. And that's good, because that would have been really annoying if I had to walk all the way up. I would have done it, but... Okay. So, Kabutops. Kabutops leads. Kabutops does not need an item, but Kabutops does need to learn how to stealth rock. Yes, please. Yes, please. You're 
pretty fast. The things that you might face and have a chance to attack again are the water things. The electric thing probably hurts you pretty bad. I guess I should probably keep the thing that's based on the attack ability that I boosted instead of the thing that's based on... Yeah, you're not an ancient power. Are you? Like, your purpose is not to be fighting. Your purpose is to set Stealth Rock. So anything you get after that is a bonus. you waterfall so if we are faster then we can do something with that do I want waterfall over aqua jet priority move is useful I think we'll go for the extra power of waterfall Okay, so I think other than itemizing, everything is pretty well set. We need very specifically... Did I get all my items off my dead Pokemon? I don't even know. Let's find out. Lyra, I don't have time for you. I'm about to go fight the grandest battle. Items. You have my smoke ball. Shouldn't matter, but we'll take it. Nothing, nothing. Dead things still have some stuff. Let's get that. Yep, that's pretty useful. And that could be useful. Okay, so... I need the specs on Lantern. I want the expert belt on... Nido King. I would like to switch those. Specs. You get to go on Lantern. Uh. Oh, I forgot a thing. I need. <sighs> I need to do one more thing before I do this, and I do need my Thero for it. I also need my Time Wizardry. Let's get out of the grave. Thero, you are in box three, I believe. Thero, you can come with me momentarily instead of Togetic. I need to figure out where a thing is really quickly because I totally forgot to get it and I don't want to go against red without everything I can have. Now I'm pretty confident in my strategy but if it turns out I'm wrong about what red has I may have to scramble so we've seen me scramble before let's see what it takes here so, I need to go to Route 29 on Tuesday. Okay. So, we need to head to Route 29, Firo. Really? Okay. I didn't think there was anyone that early in the thing, but sure. We in my 
peekaboo tops wandering around. Is it you? No. Pretty sure it's not you. You're a little boy. Hello, Tuscany. That's what I was looking for. Psychic type Pokemon. I have one of those. Give to Kadabra. Okay. So. What do I want Togetic to have? Togetic probably gets leftovers. Because I am giving the choice scarf to Weezing. I guess probably the best bet for you is anti-grass, so you can have a rindo berry. Okay, so we've got rindo, expert, twisted, choice specs, being swapped out, and choice scarf. Let's try this again. And we can untuesdify it. Nope, sorry, Lara, still don't have time for you. Go grab Togetic. Once we get to the last cave, we will use our rare candies to make ourselves equal level. We know all the moves we need to, right? You know Stealth Rock. You know all of your good moves. You know Psychic. You know Thunderbolt and Surf. You know Ancient Power. You probably need something better than Rock Smash, but we can use Rock Smash while we're up there. Uh, and you have Explosion, which is the important thing there. We are going to give Togetic a Leftovers, because that is a really good item. And most of the fights that Togetic is planning on getting into are reasonable ones for it. All right, I need to use Repel. And now I need to remember how I got to red. Millie is ever excited. Like, I want to be like, er, Millie, you're, you're interrupting things, but she's just being a good dog and being excited with her toy. Like, I can't really be mad. This way, and then this way, and then up here. Uh, was it here? Yeah. I seem to remember going up here and out through this door. And then I went up this spiral. And then where did I 
go here. I think I went this way. Nope, I'm wrong. Round one more time. Out here. Into the snow. Into the second cave. Out this cave. Into this cave. Out this cave. Up this wall. computer has gone crazy. What just happened? Okay, we're still playing. Good. We'll save, just in case, because that was weird. Not that I've done a whole hell of a lot, but... Okay. Millie, you are a very good girl, and I want you to play Give her the Tweety. Different Tweety's toy. dead. Well, while I am doing my... Okay. Give her Tweety. Tweety's right around your corner. On the floor, right there. To your left. Ready? Ready? Catch! Good girl! Good girl! Good girl. Good Millie. Okay. So. For the fight itself, I will not have squeaking, but we'll give her back the toy afterwards. Celebratory victory squeaks. Okay. Up we go. Thank you, Cabo Tops. Let me make sure that I ever did anything with our friend Weezing. Yes, defense and HP. Well, that was a silly decision in light of how I plan to use Weezing, but, you know, that's fine. I've made my plan. I'm hoping Red has the Pokemon that I think he does. Let's find out. All alone. The top of the world. Starts with Pikachu. Makes sense. Oh, I didn't expect it to be hailing. It's fine. We do what we said we were going to do. Please don't kill in one hit. Well, fuck! I might have just lost. <sighs> That's really bad. I have to hope the hail finishes off anything else, but it's not going to be enough. Oh my god. Okay, that doesn't do much. Knocks my defense down, which I don't like, but... We might just have to do some craziness. Alright, Venusaur... This is one of the ones that Lantern is not equipped to take out. 
So we give Togetic the option. Okay, I don't love that. Bonk. Bonk. Alright, that's fine. We're going to stay in. Uh, and we are going to... We're going to press Ancient Power and see if I can wake up. Okay, that does... 180 to 258. 78. You really ought to wake up. Oh, you know what else I didn't do? I didn't level to 88. Wow, I made a bunch of mistakes. This is all very bad. Now's your time to wake up, Togetic. Nope, you're never gonna wake up. the end of Tokatik. We are going one for one at this point. I don't like it, but Now is where math may have to come in. Snorlax. Oh, so I'm completely wrong about what you have. Um, okay. Now I need to look at what's going on. Fuck. Uh... Kadabra. You are an 87 Kadabra against a Snorlax. That is 82. Yeah, there's no way I can do that. So, how about an 87 wheezing? Pretty sure I choice scarfed you. Well, it is good that we brought Weezing and that I did not use Weezing on Venusaur as I considered doing, because Weezing has a job to do. I thank you for your explosion, Weezing. Get this Snorlax out of my face. Continuing to trade one for one, I don't love. Alright, so now I don't know what the Pokemon are. I suspect it will have a Blastoise and a Charizard. Uh, I guess that means Blastoise, Charizard, Lapras? Alright, so this one's the problem, and I think one of the ones that I needed Stealth Rocks to kill... Uh, Lapras. Blank set. 
level 80. And I need lantern. Holding choice specs. Okay, so there is a roll to kill this from where I am. If I were level 88 like I should be, this would not be a roll, this would just kill. How's the speed situation? In my favor. And this is why I needed the stealth rock, because the stealth rock makes this a guaranteed kill. All right, cool. We got there. I like it. We're finally up a Pokemon. I was not expecting it to be hailing. Blastoise. Okay. And what level blade 84? Blastoise at 84. Cool. We're fine there. Good stuff, good stuff. So that leaves Charizard. And it is an 84. Was the Pikachu level 88? I hope it was, because I was going off what I was told. I wasn't paying much attention to what it was when it came out. Charizard, 84, Thunderbolt, should be... And that is the end of the Soul Silver Hardcore Nuzlocke. I have defeated the final trainer in the game that matters at all to me. I have defeated the Elite Four twice. I have lost a lot of Pokemon along the way, including three more in this battle. Uh, it healed my Pokemon. That's not allowed. Three of those Pokemon are dead. Oh, okay. Credits. So, uh, I made s some mistakes even today, but I had a strong enough plan and knew enough about Red's team. I, I mistook the uh, Snorlax for an Eevee, which I know that seems like it would be a hard thing to do. Um, but we have gotten there. We have defeated everything. Uh, I went through in full Nuzlocke rules only captured one Pokemon per route. Any Pokemon that fainted died. Uh, I never used items in battle. If I whited out, I started over, so I got here on my fourth try. Uh, and I was playing, for the most part, blind. You know, obviously I knew some things. Uh, the reason I knew Red's team is because I've seen some other Pokemon content where someone tried to get uh, through competitive Pokemon using Red's team. It was kind of a cool idea. Um, but in the end, Lantern, Kadabra, and Nidoking survived the fight with Red. Just Nidoking survived the Elite Four. Nidoking was with us through the first Elite Four as well, so Nidoking, probably MVP of the entire run. Um, oh, also, I could never level over um, what my opponents were. Let me check really quick just to make sure that I didn't unintentionally over-level... Uh, Red, I think Red's Pikachu was 88 or 87, I don't know. Um, do, do, do. I want the person. I want Red in. 
How do I... How do I find this person? Hold on one second. I'm sorry. I want to make sure I didn't somehow cheat myself here. Red game. Uh, heart gold and soul silver. Red Mount Silver Cave. Yeah, he had an 88 Pikachu, so I'm fine. I didn't overlevel him. I've done it. I even even though I underleveled a little bit on red, I completely got blown up with my Kabutops. Uh, my Togetic got washed completely. Um, my coughing went out in an act of uh, self-sacrifice, and I or my wheezing. So I appreciate you, old man Paul. You did a brave thing taking down that Snorlax. Um, and my lantern carried the rest of it, which is what I had planned for. So I had enough of a plan to get me through. But that is the end of this journey. As the sign... I can point. As the sign here says, this is the end. Uh, Soul Silver has now come to a close. I will figure out what I'm doing next... Uh, eventually, I think I'm going to take away either doing things blind or something else. I think having all of these rules and being blind is just more stressful than I really like. Um, if I'm able to at least know what's coming up and be able to plan for it, I like that a little bit better. Um, hell, I might play a game casually through so that I can learn a story and see what, uh, what people have, and then do a Nuzlocke afterward, and maybe I'll use that time to take a break from grinding my head against a wall on some of these things. Um, I did have a lot of fun through it. I am very pleased that I managed to get through on this attempt, uh, the second try through the Elite Four blind without knowing what was coming my way. Had a lot of luck in that battle. If you haven't seen that, um, I would say that's really the climax of this run. Obviously here there was um, a little bit of... Uh, trepidation at the end when my plan with Kabutops went out the window immediately. Um, but thank you for those of you who've attended my stream and been uh, cheering me on. Thank you to anyone who watches these VODs. I really appreciate uh, just you being interested in the crazy nonsense that I'm doing. Uh, I am still wrench. I hope you've had a wonderful day, whatever time of day it is for you, and I hope you see me whatever the next thing that I stream is. Have a good one.